we're going to use formulas, okay? And a formula is derived from real life. The first one we're going to use is P equals 2L plus 2W, and that's for the perimeter of a rectangle. A rectangle is like an elongated square. It's got width and it's got length, and perimeter is like a fence. So imagine that you're adding up the sides of your yard to, uh, to take that figure to Lowe's and buy some fencing. You would measure the length and the length and the width and the width, which is where we get the formula P equals 2L plus 2W. Formulas are derived from real life experience. And rectangles have two lengths and two widths. Well, we're being told what the length and the width are. The length is 69 units long. And the width is 95 units long. When I say units, that means I don't know if it's feet or inches or yards. Okay? Uh, they're just 95 something. So I'll have P equals 2 times 69, which is 138. Plus 2 times 95, which is 190. And then when I add those two together, I get the length of the fence. So I can go to Lowe's and say, give me this much fencing, 328 feet or yards, units for sure. Now we're going to find the perimeter, P usually means perimeter in a story problem. We're going to find the perimeter of a triangle. There are three sides, so we add the three sides together, which is where you get the formula from. Side A plus side B plus side C. And we're told what P is. It's 19 units long. That's all of the sides added together. We're told what A is. It's 8 units long. We are not told what B is, but we are told what C is. It's 7 units. Well, 8 and 7 are both constants, so we add them together on the right-hand side before we do anything else, and that gives us 15 plus B on the right-hand side. Then to find out what B is, we have to subtract off the 15 units so we can get B by itself. Now on the left, 19 minus 15 is 4. On the right, 15 minus 15 is 0. And then bring down the plus B. And we know what 0 plus B is, right? So now we know that side B is 4 units long. This is the way we use formulas. Now this is an interesting formula because this formula deals with money. I equals PRT. The interest earned on money equals the principal, which is the amount of money you initially put in the bank, times the interest rate written as a decimal, times the time in years. So if we put $100 in the bank at 13% interest, and we write that as 0 0.13, for two years, you go to your calculator, you multiply those three numbers together, and you find out that the amount of interest you'll earn is $26. You're rich. Don't spend it all in one place.